This is an educational video for um, an aircraft propulsion design course in, at, at Southern Poly. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, rocket motors and nozzles uh, and the components that go into uh, rocket design. Um, here's, a, uh, here's a diagram of a convergent divergent nozzle. Um, basically you have the uh, high pressure, low velocity inlet gases coming in here. Um, they converge at the point of conversion here in the, in the center. It doesn't always have to be in the center, but this is how the diagram is. Um, so it, the, uh, the gases entering are, are high pressure, low velocity, so they're less than Mach 1. At a point in the center, it's going to reach Mach 1. And then you're going to have high, uh, low pressure, high velocity gases exiting, propelling the rocket forward, or you know, whichever direction. Um, which, uh, this would be the divergent section, and then all the gases would exit out here, being low pressure and high velocity. Here we have two different grain types. We have the star grain and the no a C notch grain. You see the different thrust over the time graphs. With the star gra uh, grain, it burns from the center of the grain, as you can see here, kind of the center of the grain outwards and from each side inwards. So this gives you the, the, con the most constant burn type of all of the motors we have designed for a project. Um, it builds up pretty rapidly, plateaus off for a good little bit, a good distance of time, and then it drops off pretty drastically. With the C notch, it kind of ramps up, peaks out, and then kind of burns out slowly over a period of time. It's a longer burn motor typically. Um, it also burns from the inside here out, and then also from each grain in. Here's the the cord motor and the moon burner motor, these are the ones more likely we're to be able to use. They're easier to manufacture and they are cheaper to manufacture due to the uh, inside of these and the C notch. It has to be perfect. These right here, um, the burn rate for this, it's got a high thrust in a short amount of time. It kind of levels off and has a linear uh, curve for the burn rate, uh, for the thrust and the time, and then it slowly goes out. And then the moon burner, burns similar to the C notch, but it goes in this direction, is what burns instead of this one. But um, this one also has a high thrust in a short amount of time, and then it levels off, and then it burns off really quick with time. And, and uh, So those are the cord and moon burner motors.